Hello gamers. Um We got we gotta talk about something before we really play any magic and so you're gonna have to give me give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be rambling a bit. I have some stuff prepared, but we'll see where it goes. Start this off with a congratulations to my wife. She played a standard RCQ this uh, just today. Top eight, I'm really proud of her. Mantis Rider, thank you so much for following. I hope that this speech does not deter you from continuing on to eventually playing some DNT. But before we get there, at this RCQ, my wife unfortunately had an opponent. Ash Morgan, thank you so much for the follow as well. Um, I might I might skip a bit if it gets too much, but we'll see. Her round four opponent was playing with some sleeves. They are very, very classic anime, anime titty sleeves. The kinds that are a technically licensed product, but all of those are garbage. They have to have the over sleeves on them because the sleeves couldn't, they could not last being riffled once, not even like an entire shuffle session. Sort of besides the point. Wife posted about it because understandably it's really frustrating to have to tell your opponent to stop using these sleeves. The judge backed, backed my wife up. The solution was fucking bananas, but I'm not even necessarily going to get into that here because the problem is this evening has been nothing but fucking men coming and yelling at people that they don't get to be uncomfortable with a with the sleeves of a anime girl wearing a honestly pretty suggestive swimsuit at an LGS where children are supposed to be. I am tired of hearing these people do this bikini phrenology to determine what constitutes as too sexually explicit to be in an LGS. Just stop using them. If you are a person who doesn't use them, thank you. I hope that we all just use normal solid color sleeves. One of the biggest things I can implore to you, if you see them, please be a force for good and call them out and don't make the women who they make uncomfortable be the ones who have to do it. It's just so like it's the like that's the worst part. My wife had to get to round four to play against this person. This person played against three other opponents who totally glossed over it all. And she had to be the one to call it out. And I, I, you're right, Chileth, I am late. There's been a lot of stuff going on on Twitter tonight about this. And it is incredibly frustrating and upsetting. And I, it took me a while to start because I had to deal with that and figure out what the fuck I was going to say about it. Um, like, <sighs> I feel like I had more prepared than that, but I just, I, I don't know, <laughs> literally like right before I was going to go live, someone with fucking 14k followers retweeted disagreement with a woman, a famously unsafe thing to do to women. And here we are with me having to just be mad at my mad towards my chat about it instead of playing magic. Be a force for good. I I just don't have any more patience for getting replies from dudes saying total nonsense. And all it takes is like 15 seconds of me browsing their Twitter followers, or fo sorry, their Twitter follows to find someone with like sentenced J Sixer in their bio. It's Nazism from the top all the way to the bottom. It's just, I'm sick of it. I hope that everybody in my chat is similarly sick of it and will be a force for good. Uh, Fuck Ali Eintrazi, he's the one who retweeted it. I already replied to him about it, and we'll see where it goes. But, you know, I don't know. Just men be better. That's all. I, 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 that's what I have to end it with. Um, thank you for letting me rant. Thank you for the agreement that I've had in chat so far. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you, oh, you thought it was DNT, not DNI. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I hope that deters anybody who would make me mad. I do, I do like that energy too. Anyway, this is a, I, this is a magic stream. I hear. I don't know anymore. Um, yeah, this is more or less the list I've been playing. I randomly decided to try one Graph Digger's Cage over the second Containment Priest just to have like a. I think. I've sort of started feeling like maybe there's too much turn two interaction. Want to try some turn one interaction? We'll see. Uh, I haven't. Uh, it's been a little while since I played, honestly. Probably, I think, actually, since last last Sunday stream. Um, since on Thursday, I was playing the, the Cauldron deck. So we'll see how it goes. It's been a lot of Risk Aminator from what I've seen. Uh, I didn't actually see what won the showcase today. Um, but we'll see what happens to us. We got a Savannah, nice. Did you already have the Scrublands or are you working on those too? Ah, uh, yes, this is what I remember. Deck has been giving me a lot of unkeepable sevens lately. You already have scrubs, yeah. There you go. Cool. Now you just need a survey land unless you already have that. But not that that's expensive. Uh, yeah, so we will mulligan this. Cool. All right, that's how it's going to be. Uh, I guess I just put back the two planes. I'll get plane swamp. Uh, I guess I'll just keep one of the planes, right? Keep a planes, put back a vista. Yeah, there we go. Mountain. Simeon Spirit Guide. And battle cry goblin. Okay, that doesn't feel like the best use of a simian spirit guy, but I'm not going to be upset about that. Um, feeling pretty incentivized to thought seize here. I love that we immediately draw a double white spell, so we might not be able to play it, but we'll see. <sighs> Interesting. I think I don't love just leaving this Muxus in their hands, but. They have no fast mana and nothing else to do. And I think if I... if I think if I had a second white source for the Skyclave, I would take the Muxus and then Skyclave the broadside, but I'm worried that I'm just not going to get to that point. That said, we might just have to assume that we do because the game's easier to navigate with Muxus isn't... with Muxus not... Uh, in play, so. Yeah, they definitely should not have kept this. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess, especially, because I'm, I'm going to cast a Vial next turn, and I'll, yeah, okay, we'll get rid of the Muxus, and at least, you know, they aren't even going to cast the Broadside next turn, unless they draw a Soul Land, which they always do, but we'll see. Oh, uh, they drew a spirit guide. There they go. Okay. Ouch. Uh, so I am almost dead next turn. Cool. They can put me to one, and then I have no way to not be dead the next turn. Excellent. Anyway, this was the reason I was thinking of taking the broadside, even though I think that maybe the reasoning to, for taking the Muxus might have still been right. Is they kept that still updated at all, or is it, or is it ancient? No, okay, it's ancient. Got it.
Oh, nice. They are not dealing me a damage when they could have. Cool. I should be at six here because they should have activated Battle Cry before combat. White source, white source. I would also take a swords to plowshares or a solitude or a recruiter. I have like 12, like so many good draws. Uh, at least it's castable. Um, Alright, I'm dead if they correctly activate before combat this time. They did not. They just played a sh... Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm... Oh, yeah, I am dead to that because they can just throw the... They throw the Battlecry Goblin at me. Alright, please don't let me lose to this. Cabal Therapies, Containment Priest, Graft Digger's Cage, uh, Goodbye to Lauren, Scarab Swarm, it's usually like a Wisp, and Cauldra, something like that usually. Yeah, that looks right. Thank you. I'm glad everybody likes the stream title. I would love to play first. What do I got? That's a pretty solid hand. They're mulling to five, too. The slot is going to do work. All right, they keep their five. Let's see how bad it is. Let's go. Interesting. So they... Huh. I guess this is another case of just take the Muxus. If they go... They don't have a reason to cast the name sticker, but that's good for me because if they don't have anything to do with it, they just pass the turn. And then eventually when they do sticker goblin, I just solitude it, so. It's almost tempting to take like one piece of the fast mana so that I entice them to cast the name sticker, but I think it's just better to make casting the name sticker always bad, I don't know. That Chrome Mox looks pretty rough on their on their mold of five too. Especially without a soul land. Okay, that is the same mountain. Okay, they are casting Chrome Mox. Spirit Guide, okay. Battle Cry, okay, sure. Uh, it sure is motivated by something. Um, it's all on Twitter. <laughs> 
It's all there to be seen. Uh, what am I feeling? I'm probably just casting Stoneforge. It's a little bit tempting to try to Bowmasters the battle cry um, when they attack, but I think that is probably just worse than batter sculling them here. Um, I do. I I want to mention something here. I really think that Jite is undervalued in this matchup quite a bit. Um, I think it's one of the best long-term tools that we have in the matchup. Um, because obviously Batter Skull is good at stabilizing, but like having equipment that can be removal spells for name sticker goblins, I think is like really important. Um, I... I'm specifically not going for it here just because it doesn't look like I'm going to have the mana. But otherwise, I think it's a very good tool that a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people overlook, I think. It's like they, they're an X2 matchup, not an X1 matchup. Um, which is why I think people don't necessarily go to it. But like that repeated removal i think is critical it's it's the way that you you get to actually use your cards to kill them while not dying <laughs> or while like you get to use your cards against their hand while gta clears the board i think is a way to look at it um so i am gonna solitude this for sure Um, what am I pitching? I don't think I want to pitch the Skyclave because it's actually really tempting to Skyclave the Mox. I could get rid... It's basically it's between Stoneforge or Thalia. Thalia is a good blocker, but Stoneforge gets the Gte. But I think getting the Gte is still like super mana intensive. But I guess I don't really need Thalia as the blocker anyway when I have the Batter Skull, so I should just get rid of the Thalia. Yeah, it's it's really bad. I think it's important that you that you look. <laughs> I had a whole speech at the beginning of the stream about it. Uh I would repeat it, but it was like it was like 5 or 10 minutes of rambling, so Yeah, I don't know. I I don't think it's really specific to Twitter so much as it is it's it's a general internet problem. Certainly Twitter exacerbates it in some ways, but I think it's important to acknowledge it as just a general internet problem. Anyway, I will skyclave their mocks. And they can't really both make mana and threaten to do anything with it, so. Ooh. Uh, I think if they trade for my Skyclave, I'm pretty happy with that, so. It was this a pyrokinesis, maybe? No, okay. Yeah, this is it's all good by me. Uh, they still don't really, still can't really make mana and do something with it, but I guess it's probably still better to just hold up the Containment Priest. Because it's hard to lose from this position, and the one way they do is like, land, name sticker, Muxus. And now they need like land name sticker Muxus and answer to containment priest. So I'll just make it that much harder for him. 
and they're dead next turn. So. This one I'll get the GTA and I'll pass. Uh, they usually play either Fury or Pyrokinesis, one of the two. Matron resolves. Mm-hmm. And you're dead. Oops, I need that to make a black mana. There we go. Cool. And resubmit. Hmm. If I was on the play, I would be happy with this. On the draw, I feel like it might just lose to too much. Yeah, they're keeping seven too. Yeah, I feel like I would be more comfortable with like any hand that has Solitude or Swords or Cage. I'm looking, I would be looking for like nine cards, basically. Um, or Thought Seizes, so I guess 13. Yeah, I think I have to mulligan for something faster. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, okay, this has almost everything except the mana to do it with. Um, I guess I just bottom the bow masters here. Yeah, and the vial will hopefully help me long term if I never draw mana. I could also see bottoming vial. Um, I guess my worry would be like. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I guess we just have to see we're going to draw a land at some point, and the Bowmaster will be more value. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know we are definitely not casting this vial for, for a while. Ooh. No play turn one is very comfy. Okay, they don't have a turn to play either. Um, okay, what's my plan here? So they're almost certainly gonna play the Smashing as a land, so I don't have to worry about Containment Priest dying. They're nowhere close to casting Muxus, so I'm pretty sure I'll leave that between the three drops. I feel like it's probably broadside. War Chief makes Muxus easier to cast, but like I think it's easier to deal with War Chief like in combat or something. I guess maybe I take Rabble Master because 
If I take Rabble Master, Broadside is the easiest card to just one for one with Swords to Plowshares. I don't think I like taking the Smashing because so much of their deck is mana that I don't think it's going to keep them from like making a turn three play. Okay, I think I'm going to take, I think I've decided I'm going to take Broadside because, like, the, I'm going to have to Swords the Plowshares probably the first three drop they play either way, and... I think with Rabble Master, it's fine if they make a one-one. Like, like if I take if I take Bombardiers, I kind of have to keep Swords up, or I might just die. Whereas with Rabble Master, like they can attack me with a one-one, I'll kill it with Bowmasters and Swords the Rabble after. And I think so. I think Broadside just presents the most problems. It's like a little bit tempting to take the War Chief because it gets them closer to casting Muxus, but I don't think that's very real with this with this Containment Priest that they aren't really going to have a way to kill with their hand. So. Cavern of Souls, number two. Interesting. So if I just play Thalia, what's the punish? If they high roll with if they draw a name sticker and high roll with it, then um, then we just kind of die. Um, I don't know if making plow cost two matters because everything in our hand costs two. I, th I like Thalia because it means we don't even have to remove the Rabble Master. Yeah, I'm going to play Thalia. Third Cavern of Souls. Okay. And they're all naming Goblin. That's crazy. There's the War Chief. Okay. That's kind of nice, actually. Um, do I don't think I can attack here. Um, if they go like Soul Land into Muxus, then we have the Containment Priest. Um, they notably can't actually make red mana for this smashing. So, hey, what do you know? They have Soul Land into Muxus. Muxus resolves, and then I cast Containment Priest. And they would have hit five cards. Whew, okay. 
Jesus Christ. And they don't even attack. If they don't attack, we don't bounce the Muxus, right? Because that just like, gives them the opportunity later to reuse it, and that would just be bad. We just let it stay as a 4 4. Recruiter, you say? Um. I think we. We probably just have to pass here, right? Or do we? I guess if we get Recruiter, can we afford to get anything other than Solitude? And the problem is, yeah, exactly that. Like, I'd want to recruit a Clock, if anything. So maybe I just go Shields down for this one turn, especially because they still can't cast a Smashing. Um, yeah, so I guess we just recruit for recruit for Stoneforge. And hopefully we all land and we get to hold up swords and cast Stoneforge. Um, this is like one of the very few situations where I would like to have Cauldra in my deck. Um, but these situations do not happen very much. And I think getting Batter Skull is still going to be okay. Honestly, I might even get GTA. I don't think about it. GTA is very mana intensive, which is probably the, the main reason not to do it. the Rabble Master? No, it's not the Rabble Master. What is this? This is another... Oh, it's a Battlecry Goblin, but they can't activate it. There's Battlecry plus Rabble Master, I guess. So they could go Battle Battlecry, Rabble Master, they could play Shatter Skull as a land finally and activate. Yep, that is what they do. Okay. Well, we'll be getting the Batter Skull. This is going to be a chunk of damage. I guess we'll see what they attack with. I guess they're attacking with everything and then maybe the Rabble Master, but... So I am guessing that we're going to do something like take two here, two here, Block Thalia on the Rabble Master, Recruiter on the Muxus, and then Containment Priest on one of the One Ones. So it'd be like this, this, this. I could also instead block the Battle Cry, because that does represent a decent chunk of damage here. We might need to do that. This would be 8, 9, 10, 11. This would be 12 damage coming in. And I guess with all these tokens, I probably do just have to... I guess, yeah, they are only one card left. We could lose Priest. That's a good point. So then if we do this... We're taking 5... And then, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think this is the right way to go about it. It doesn't feel great, but I think it's right.
If we draw a land so we can go stone forge swords, then it's going to feel really good. Unfortunately, we drew a different card. Um, so what do we do then? I guess we probably have to stone forge for batter skull, fog, muxus with the Thalia. Is that where we're at? We could just swords muxus, but that feels like giving them a little too much time for my comfort. But they can't attack, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we have to go for the Stoneforge line, and then we'll deal with whatever happens after that. Getting the Batter Skull. kind of nice knowing that they have like any any five of these would be kind of a problem for them to draw right now so i'm glad they have none of them hey jesus how's this going welcome doing all right yeah two bombos Okay, real talk chat. How insane is it to block Warchief with Thalia and then bounce Muxus? I think the answer is extremely insane, but I just had to think about it because they would need specifically a soul land to recast it. But I agree. I think I am also going to four. Yeah, with the therapy, I guess is like the important is the important detail there. But I think if they had name sticker, they probably would have cast it for damage. I don't know for sure though. But yeah, I think we just have to take eight. Come on, deck. Give me a land. Give me a land, please. I think a land, or I would, I would accept a solitude. Maybe I think that would be my other. Oh. Huh. Well, I have a white mana. Yeah, now we bounce because, right, because, well, I guess, it means they can't cast Muxus off of a soul land. But yeah, yeah, I think, there, I think there's a pot. It makes the bounce next turn maybe a little bit more defensible. Okay, they have another. They have another lands. Okay, I'm less into it then.
Okay, so we're passing here. We can put in the batter skull. Probably chump the Muxus with Thalia. And then we get to Swords Magus, bounce Muxus, therapy them all in one turn. I cannot plow and put in Skull. I only have, or, oh, you mean plow Magus, then put in, uh, yeah, maybe. I guess let's see how they attack. I'm sort of into trading Germ and Thalia for Muxus, honestly. I would really want to draw a land to re-equip, but like getting to kill this Muxus without using my swords to pleasures feels like a really seems like a really good value to me. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I also don't hate this, honestly. Yeah, and you're right, we don't have to trump. Um, oh, sorry, the list is out of date. I forgot to update it. There's been a lot going on. Um, yeah, so we just take one, we go to three here. Yeah, I think that's fine, actually. Yeah. And now this Muxus can't really even attack. <laughs> what is happening post-board? Uh, they're... Oh. Huh. Interesting. Another Thalia, huh? Okay, so... Yeah, I guess I'm kind of wishing I chumped now, because if, if we got to plow Magus, bounce Muxus therapy it, that would feel really good. I don't think we're in a terrible position as it is, but I think I would feel better if we were able to do that. Wilder Muxus games I've ever played. What is this? Five mana? Oh, is this a smashing maybe? They can only kill Thalia or Stoneforge if it's a smashing. So if if they just smash Thalia here, that would be pretty okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. Um I have no interest in, mm, let me think. So, Plow Magus, Bounce Thalia is like fine. Next turn, I would Bounce Muxus, Therapy it, and then have two mana left over. Um, 
And I guess the th that Thalia might be valuable as a Solitude pitch card. So I guess, like, we're not really... But I guess, no, because we need... Yeah, the... Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm letting this resolve. Let's resolve. We'll see what they attack. Interesting. So if I plow a name sticker, trade with skull. I think that's that feels worse to me, I think. Than Plow Muxus, block name sticker with batter skull, we lose like one life. And then I just bounce. Yeah, I think so. We plow name sticker. Like, we have to well no, we don't we don't even have to use this plow now, right? We just block the Magus, bounce Muxus. Yeah, okay, got it. So we're going to take five, six, seven, but gain four. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Okay, we figured it out. Bounce box us. Uh, I am going to surveil here now that my fetch land is available again. Uh,. I think I'm gonna bottom that. I don't think I want that. Maybe I do for future turns, but it doesn't feel great right now. Uh, so, very first step: therapy, name Muxus, Goblin Grandy. Goodbye. Uh, then I will play a Mother of Runes, and I'll hold up a Swords to Plowshares. This is by far the most complex match against this deck I've ever played. Got to be wearing my clock, but thankfully we can end this pretty quickly. So, okay. Slightly concerned with what they wouldn't what they wouldn't have cast because it seems most likely that it's a therapy, um, or that it's another Muxus. Um, those trade that's fine flashback sacking this I'm just going to check for a Muxus again knew it Whew. there's just only so many cards with that they don't cast and they have five mana up so Whew. Okay. All right. Yo, therapy is great. It sounds like you just got beat by it.
over tapping on the battle cry goblin when did that happen I, I i remember the turn i think i forgot um uh i forget what they actually did wrong um they did over tap but i didn't see where it like changed anything that they were doing i guess because they only had one real red mana to spend it on Tap the lands, play Battle Cry Goblin Rival, play Redland, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotcha. They weren't able to pump their two tokens. Okay, yep. Yeah, two, yeah, two damage because they could only activate once. Yeah. Interesting hand. I think I'll keep it. I'm not super thrilled about it, but... Uh, yeah, so the the story about the anime titty sleeves, uh, I I ranted about it at the start of the stream. I won't go over it all again. But uh, oh wait, this is the mirror. No, it's not. Different Yorgan deck. Cool. Ponder shuffle. Do I Wasteland you? If I Wasteland, you're going to draw your one loam. But let's try it. Uh, got canceled for my views, in a sense. Whoa. Green and black, huh? To keep it on top? Okay. I was gonna maybe surveil on my turn, but I or at the end of their turn, but I guess I'm doing it now. Uh good yeah, I don't really want another scrub land. It was also not the land I expected, <laughs> that's for sure. Now that this is the land they played, I wish I wastelanded this one, but what are you going to do? Don't bean me. No! Ugh. All right. It's going to be a long one. Okay. I guess I'm just going to draw all solitudes. I'll start with the sash. The reason I don't just want to play Arbo Masters is like, if they don't induce me to cast it, I'm just passing the turn for nothing. At least this induces them to do something. If they Bowmaster it, somewhat of a bummer, but I'm not sure that their graveyard is even going to matter that much to the point where like I would consider Lion Sash to be an important card. Uh, well, they've already used one, so... We'll see if Mother Rune survives. Uh, the alignment chart is they're all bad. I'm not going into any more detail than that. All right, there's their Xander's Lounge. Still no white mana since I wasted that Tundra. Yeah, I, I agree too. That's kind of why I'm playing it here. Like, I would be happy if another Bowmasters didn't kill mine. prismatic ending okay well they probably don't have a bow masters or they would have oh well that's annoying uh, I'm gonna start getting some basics in case they they probably have a wasteland in their deck so I just want to be safe Yeah, I did not expect them to be an Uro deck, which was maybe maybe foolish of me. Whoa. 
uh, well, if they, what do they pitch? They pitch the Terminus. Okay. I kind of want to just Solitude their Uro now then. Yeah. Cool. So Uro's gone. They draw off the bean. Uh, hold on. What's I'm already targeting their army, so I'll target the real thing now. Solitude kills my bowmaster. Yeah, it's more cards than I'd like them to be, but I think at, on this board it's better than them getting to getting to cast their Uro next turn. Planes, okay. Just please be all bad spells. Come on, opponent. This is going to be a long match. <coughs> Excuse me. top that's fine I'm gonna fetch uh, I don't really like doing anything against this to fairy really although I might just have to cast this Yorion right now yeah, I guess we just have to cast this door around. They force pitch spell pierce. Ugh. All right. Give me, just give me a creature to put into play, please. Ideally, a Lauren, so I can kill this Beanstalk. I guess I'm casting a Solitude. <laughs> Oh no, this game it does not look good, but my opponent's playing slowly, so I'm going to make them use all their clock. I would maybe call it Jover. Still no more lands. I just love that the fairy turns magic into Hearthstone.
Anyway, the rest of this game is not going to be interesting. I'm really just bleeding the clock, so. I mean, I, 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 th I think my big problem with Cataclysm is that, like, it's pretty bad against Murktide and Triumph, right? Like, there are certainly some boards that it is, is decent against, but also there's a lot that it just looks really bad. Maybe should have just hit their one white source, but oh, yeah, because they already have the Volk out too. Yeah. I with the Volk, I think that usually means they definitely have fourth. So wasting that and then wasting the Volk does start begging the question of how many other ways to win the game do they have in their deck, but we'll see. You're right, Adam, but don't don't put it past them, you know? You just never know. They are on Noodle. Yep. Solitude resolves. Yeah, so it's taken them nine minutes to start killing me from a draw that I had that did mostly nothing. So they really got to pick up the pace if they want to win the post-board games. Hey, there's that loam. <laughs> yeah, you can play the loam, whatever. This looks like a fourth. It is a fourth. Now they're going to use their clock to pick two cards to discard. Brainstorm, another solitude. So we've seen three solitudes so far. Ooh, interesting. Pitch a brainstorm to the force. Oh, we didn't attack because I just accidentally went past it when I didn't mean to. Which is its own kind of victory. Alright, there's their there's their one of wasteland. That's why we got all these basics. I wonder if they're gonna spend the time loaming back the wasteland or not. Uh 
they are not, but they do have to choose a card to discard again. So the Misty, okay. All right, there's another runes. Um, unfortunately, so I like this kind of beans matchup all a good amount post board because of the Gaddic Teagues. Unfortunately, the solitudes in addition to the swords, the plowshares are going to make it a little bit scarier. It's just a lot harder to keep uh, to keep Teague around against all the all the five plus drops. Thank you for wishing me luck. We'll see how it goes. I think as long as I can put on like a decent showing in the game too, it seems hard to, for them to win a game, win a third one. Is that the, that's the third unique art for Force of Will. If it goes to game three, it is very likely an auto win, but I don't know for sure. We'll see. All right. I will bring in my Cabal Therapies, my Gaddic Teagues, my Lauren, and my Rest in Peace. And then I don't think... If, if they had either Merktide or... Triumph I would board in battle, but they didn't show me either in a lot of their deck, so I'm not sure that they have that. I will easily cut the Gite, and then this is usually a matchup I board out Thalia's. Um, sometimes I will keep in the Thalia's and instead board out the Wisps because they out card do a lot so much that it's hard for a Wisp to actually do anything. Um, and like Thalia can be decent um but i haven't totally solidified on what my plan is yet hey fornia thank you for the thank you for the streak how's it going um i normally would board out some number of skyclaves against the bean decks but again they have uro in their deck so and i obviously also want like a certain level uh, a certain amount of answers to Beanstalk. Um, let's go with this. Thalia definitely also feels worse against a, um, a three, uh, probably a four Uro deck because there are 80 cards. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Therapy is a little bit worse against the Yorion deck because they just they're gonna have it is more more likely to miss, but we'll see. This is this is a nice hand though, yeah. Ooh. And my vial gets to live at least a turn. So I think the real question is are we just like are we saving this therapy or are we naming Beanstalk with it right now? Um, and I'm leaning towards naming Beanstalk because it's a lot harder to get them after turn two. And without it, their hands or their deck just doesn't work as well. So I think we go for it. Whoop, whoop, hello. Up the Beanstalk. None. And their hand is all over the place. There's the Misty. Mm. 
Catatonic Walrus, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Oh. Got that Terminus hiding out, though. Or the Solitude, not the Terminus. Um, I guess I just pass. Yeah, if this all two were a Caracas, that would be pretty much the perfects. So they are probably brainstorming here. And then I have to decide whether I am bow mastering them. I feel like the answer is probably yes, because they can't bow master. They have to fetch the swords. So yeah, I think the answer here is yes. And I know they can't. I guess maybe they drew maybe they top deck the force, but Okay, they are just fetching fetching to swords it right away. Okay. Senia, thank you so much for the subscription. Oh my gosh, thank you. Alright, there's the swords. You got me. Okay, so they have at m they've gotten rid of one of these at most. If they got rid of one, I am guessing that it's the terminus. But we'll see. And there's the ponder. Can I draw a land, please, so I can recruit for Lauren? That'd be nice. Do I just vile in this Teague? I feel like protecting it versus this Solitude is not that valuable. Like, uh, yeah, that like I know they have Solitude in their hands. My feeling is that they should, if if we get them to pitch the Solitude on it, that's probably fine. And we really want this Vial on three, and we're never casting this Teague as it is right now. So, Also, if they pitch the Solitude, we now have Wisp to save it. So... Um, Yeah, Teague stops Terminus Miracle. It is a CMC6 spell. Uh, do we flashback this therapy right now? With the Orc Army? I feel like the answer might be yes. It forces them to use the Solitude right now, and then we use the Wisp. We can use the Wisp to save the Teague. Um, if they do that, what I name probably depends on what they pitch, but I'm not like upset to get rid of a Bowmaster. I think I'm kind of into it. And if they... just let it resolve, then I just take the Solitude. Like that. And they did put back the Terminus, so their hand is currently Bean Forest Binding Loam Bowmaster. 
cool. Oh, I should, I, yeah, I should have gotten Calder there. That was foolish. And there's Loam getting back three fetches. They don't beans, I assume, because they're holding up the Bowmaster. So in that case, we're probably still stone forging here then. I just feel a little worse about it. Probably stone forging and keeping the vial on three. Oh no, why are you letting why did you let me untap? That wasn't right. What's going on? Are you trying to bowmaster the recruiter now? Well that's not right. Um, I don't know if I'm wasting anything, but that is a nice draw. Yeah, now T can attack, yeah. Um, do, 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 there's Caldra. Oh yeah, I meant, I was right, yeah, I should go to four. I was thinking I, I was staying at three because of the Wisp, but I literally just used the Wisp, so there's no, I'm not staying in there for anything. Um, I, I'm also not wastelanding because I just remember they literally have the loam, so no point in doing that. I should technically be holding a swamp up. We could, and I think we will. I think we will get another recruiter. Or... We could just get Scarab Swarm. That's probably worse than getting other recruiter. Let me see. The more I look at it, I think I actually like Lauren. Because if they do find a way to sweep us, then we need Lauren to clean up the beans. Yeah, I like that. Our board, like, is clearly aggressive enough, I think, so. You got it. That was one of the fetch yeah, that's one of the fetches they got rid of. I'm guessing they put a forest back probably. Is this a beanstalk? That is a beanstalk. Okay. They didn't shuffle, so they still still could have either of these cards. Okay. I'm guessing at this rate they probably put the forest back. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they did. Okay. They decide to scoop. Okay. Let's see how game three goes. They have more time going into game three than I expected, but I guess my my draw against theirs worked out pretty well, I guess. So God formal wear would have been pretty sick, huh?
I would like this hand to be more interactive, but I also really can't complain about two stone forges with a vial against a control deck basically ever. So Mortuary, they've been a brainstorm. That's gotta be good for me, right? Oh, they're finally F6-ing, okay. I won't let them get ahead of me. Uh, is this a bean draw? No blue source makes me think that they must have a bean, but I guess we'll see. No, Witherbloom commands, okay. And they get a flooded strain back. All right, do you have the answer for the first stone forge? So they still have a strand in their hands. Ooh, that's a good sign for me. I'd like to point out their Yorian has not come in has not even entered their hand once yet. Binding my stone forge, I'll take it. How about another? Okay. I don't think they gra even grabbed it game one. I don't remember them spending mana on that. Don't tell me there's a fourth for two. Ugh. My hand's like okay at dealing with it. It's not the worst, but... Very annoying way for them to present a problem this early in game three. Uh, don't need other lands, yeah. A vial. So I think, yeah, I think this is recruit for lore and play vial. I uh, maybe should have gotten a Savannah actually, but we'll see. I could see Mom actually. I see it, yeah. The real thing is maybe a turn ago I wanted to cast Recruiter on my third with my three mana instead of Stoneforge again so that I could have double spelled this turn. Double actual spelled this turn.
Uh, what do I want to do here? They have an Uro. I'm just going to have to Caracas it, though. I, I don't think I want to get Sash here. Let me think about it. I, I have 13 minutes to their five, so let's think about it. Um, yeah, maybe we were supposed to. Yeah, because I guess I'm probably going to... It's probably better for me to just play my Bowmaster this turn anyway, so... Um, so they've used one binding and they've pitched a Teferi. Um, Sash does let us use our, <laughs> yeah, Jason's getting to it. Sash gets to use our vial. Um, I think, yeah, I think I like Sash because... them getting to cast Uro seven times is like a way that they get back into this game and Sash stops that. So I think that's right. And yeah, I think I think I also agree with that about the about the batter skull not saving us. F6 in. No terminus. Swords into Beanstalk. They need a blue lands to cast Uro. If they don't, I just get to eat it for free. No, not for free, but you know what I mean. Lots of beans. Okay, got it. And there's the wasteland for the Caracas, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to eat the Uro before it, that matters. So, okay, cool. File up to two, draw. Uh, easily waste this savanna they don't even go for it all right cool put in the cauldra is there a cat on a keyboard right now <laughs> See what's going on over there. To fair the the four is it the fourth beanstalk? No, it's just the third. Um, but I don't think I can really let them have a to fairy either. Because I'm just trying to kill them, so and then I guess I will wait until their draw step to eat Uro with Sash in case they have exactly Terminus on top. They do not. Okay.
I guess that gives me less. It gives me less of a reason to keep the monarchy away from them, but I think I'm probably still supposed to. I'm just not sure with what. Um, do I just have to f put the sash in front of it then, I guess? Well, we have to use Lauren and Army, right? Which is probably fine, though. And then, are we activating this? No, we're not. Because they would draw two. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's a lot of beans. I mean, yeah, right? Five, six, seven, eight. I get to hit them down to three here. Yeah, we could also just keep it in play, which I don't hate either. I can get rid of my stop there. There we go. Okay. Attack me for three. You got it. Is that a hard cast terminus then? Or is it just a desperation play? They can't even hard cast terminus unless they have a white land. There is a potential white lands. Sanctuary. What is that putting on top? Source of pleasures? Okay. So you have to swords the cauldra right now. So I just put this Skyclave in as a 2 2 then? Okay, they concede. All right. Yeah, so the. Whew. Yeah, they, they are dead on board to just the Stoneforge as is, but who knows what else they could be doing. Okay. What a couple marathon matches for me to have when I start the stream late. Uh, 
Uh, is there a chance I would play Enchantress my self? No, very unlikely. Um, I almost always played DNT. Uh, that was just kind of a one-off thing because I had been losing a lot and just needed to try something else. But um, no, for the most part, I have almost always played DNT. Yeah, the the cauldron, the cauldron deck. Uh, no white painter for me either. I would not call it DNT, but uh, it depends on what your definition of DNT is. Uh, I'm going to keep this, and I'm either bottoming a land or a bowmasters. I think that I would like to bottom a bowmasters. The second Bowmasters is certainly like decent upside, but I would be a little bit concerned about going into a matchup like this where Bowmasters isn't going to be good. Now, do I just Wasteland them? Or am I casting a Vile? Which Shatter Skull deck is it? Because if it's, if it's Goblins... I want to Wasteland. If it's Stompy, I want a Vile. Um, it's probably more likely to be... I think mathematically it's more likely to be Stompy because Goblins only plays like two Shatter Skull, I think. Um, man, what is it with all these decisions I have to make tonight? What gives? Yeah, I think I think we're going after this. Oh, do they only play Magnus? I I didn't recognize the name. I believe you though. All right, don't sticker me. I can live with that. That's fine. Good night, Gabs. Thank you for sticking around. God, Mux's titty sleeves the most indefensible thing in the world. Uh, yeah, so we are going to try to kill this Bowmaster in combat, I think. What do you reveal? Probably a name sticker. Yeah. Okay, so I will Bowmaster before combat. Yep, don't worry. I'm on it. We're going to be okay. Kill the matron, and now they basically have to... Basically can't attack with the broadside. Which is worse than killing it in combat, but certainly better than the alternative, so... Um, so I think here I probably don't have a choice other than to recruit for a solitude on the name sticker. Yeah, I'm going to pitch a stone forage and get a GTA with the other one. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess if they go for the play I'm less worried about. That's fine, too. Uh, a 
Okay. Uh, it's not what I expected. Yeah, maybe we still solitude the broadside. I, I do see your point about getting the sash, though, and having two stone forges in play. Um, it means that we will sacrifice a vial on three, but we don't even have a three drop in our deck or in our hand right now, so. Um, I think we do because GTA covers it, yeah. Yeah, so we will. Yeah, so stone forge. Get the Lion Sash. Pitch Lion Sash to Solitude. Uh, I want to kill the Broadside, personally, I think. Because broadside getting to throw tokens in the future, because like basically we're gonna have to use our GTA counters on the name sticker, so like the broadside next turn could potentially prove to be a problem. So Vial goes on the stack with it and with it on the stack. Stone Forge gets Imazawa's Jite. Take this up. Another vial, huh? Don't really need that. If they are smart, they will block this. It's, yeah, cool. Because I have to keep these two counters to kill the name sticker anyway. Adam, no, stop. Adam! We have a chance here. It's not a good one. All right, what do they hit? They hit another ringleader, okay. I don't really see any single three drop drawn here changing anything, so I think we just need to guarantee we can Yori on next turn. Uh... Once they've cast Muxus in game one, it's pretty, pretty tough to come back.
Yeah, I th that is exactly what we need. Is that ringleader to uh, to kind of whiff? Oh, I gotta hydrate. I'm hydrating. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm re-equipping the Jite. And I don't see myself bouncing the Muxus, so I think I'm just holding up this Marsh Flats to be a survey land. And now it's dark for some reason. <laughs> yeah, dark flats. It's getting ready to be a shadowy backstreet. Okay, there's name sticker. I gotta kill it. There is no other choice. If only we could make a five five. Oh God, that's bad, okay. That is probably over. Yeah, we're like, we're super dead. Okay, well, we have some oh, pretty good sideboard cards. Uh, whoops, not that one. Um, Uh yeah, I decided to play one cage over the second containment priest just to see how it, just to see it. It felt like it felt like my sideboard was a little bit heavy on two mana interaction. I'm gonna try to bring bring more one mana spells in. Yeah, name sticker is something else. Also really wish that you knew how much mana it made on Magic Online, but uh, not really. The, ther the third therapy was kind of cut for the ley line because I would normally only have three surgicals. Uh... Yeah, this hand. Um... This hand is maybe stomachable on the play specifically. On the draw, it would be a snap mulligan because you just need faster interaction. Um, this is pretty good against their aggressive draws for sure. It just doesn't really do much against Muxus. And I feel like I would rather have a hand with removal or discard spells, of which I have many. Yeah, I think it just has to take a Discipline Mulligan here. Uh, this is better. Keep this. I'm putting back one of the three drops, and I think that it's going to be Skyclave. Yeah. Uh, did we win that game? No, we got destroyed. Opponent drew a broadside bombardiers, and then nothing else mattered. <laughs> is this a chal? This is a rabble master. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. I think we unfortunately have to take a couple hits from this Rabble Master, but we'll see. We'll see what their follow-up is, at least. Broadside. Okay. This 
So what you're telling me is that we probably have to just solitude the broadside and then, yeah, okay. Yeah, we have to do that. Because this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage and they can make it 14. Yeah, so I think, yeah, this sucks. Our, t our first hand would be a lot a lot better suited against this, but unfortunately here we are. We might just have to trade the Containment Priest with the Rabble Master. I think that is in fact what we're going to have to do. We could potentially just block a token and then trade maybe later, but I don't know. I, th I think if we let this Rabble Master deal us this much damage, then we're dying. Or we They don't need Muxus to kill us, so I think we just have to accept that our Mold to 6 was really poorly positioned against their draw. And notably, if we're getting back in this game, it's going to be through the power of Vile, which is harder to leverage when Containment Priest is in play. So, yeah, I think they, I think they said that they are going to do. They specifically said they're doing something about the problem where decks that don't play, don't actually play cards that need stickers, but play like clone effects, need to play a sticker deck that they don't actually use so that they have stickers to put on their clone effects if they copy a name sticker goblin. They recently came up with Jewel specifically. They have Metamorphs and they might want their Metamorphs to make five mana, but they can only do that if they have a sticker sheet, which means they have to reveal it at the beginning of every game and go through the motions even though they do once again don't have stickers in their deck Ooh, okay we're getting somewhere i really would like to draw like spells but when it comes to non-spells that was pretty good Um, I don't, I feel like I keep hearing people say that. that. That doesn't make sense to me though, because then it, it, it gets rid of like one of the features of stickers and paper, which is that you know how much mana it's going to make before you cast the card. Oh my God, deck. Okay. Please just don't have the third soul land. You probably have like the, a mountain plus a spirit guide or something. Nope, they just have the third soul lance. Okay. Ringleader, Bombardier, okay. And then Ringleader hits another Ringleader and a Sticker Goblin. I mean, yeah, that would be best if they just didn't... If they just did not put on sets in that would be great but unfortunately i think if they did that I, I think if they were going to do that they already would have probably maybe this ends up being the the straw that breaks the camel's back but not super not really a believer that that's going to be their solution as again as happy as i would be if for it to be
All right, what do we got now? Magic Brian. Hi, Brian. How's it going? Uh, sure, I'll keep this. Seems it's not great, but it'll work. Oh, uh, so you can register stickers for exactly one tournament? Is that what you're saying? Hey, KCCCC. They have, thank you for the follow. How's it going? I'll just do the mana efficient play. I don't really have anything to do with my mana next turn anyway, so if I just like thought season and hold up Thalia, that's fine. Is this a daze? No, it's a Lorien revealed, okay. Underground sea, so probably bug beans. With daze especially, it'll look like bug beans, okay. Drop in their hand, right? That's what they planned. Yeah, drop. Okay. Whoa! Just firing off a brainstorm. Well, <laughs> pretty happy to see that right before I'm about to thought seize them. So, ooh, a double thought seize. Let's see what you got going on over there. Annoyingly, not much I care about. Um, but if I take the Lorien revealed, then they can't. They both can't uh, shuffle the brainstorm away. And it's the card that long term will do the most. And I think that I am going to Thought Seize again and take the Brainstorm. I could also hold the Thought Seize for a Force of Will, but I think that because I'm not able to really put a lot of pressure on them, maybe that's actually a reason not to not to cast the second Thought Seize. Um, Okay, I'm definitely doing this, and it's just a question of am I doing anything else? I th I'm guessing that the top card of their deck is probably going to be that Tropical Island. I'm going to I'm going to pass. What I might, I'm probably going to do is surveil this turn, try to hit like a stone forge or something like that. That would be nice. And otherwise, I'm going to thought seize again. Yeah, there's that drop that they showed me before. That's a very interesting thought seize. Um,. This is not a good Skyclave matchup. If they had a bean in play, I would do it, but they don't, so I won't. Um, okay, so I think... Actually, I guess... The problem with Thoughtsies and the Mom is that they have two Mom answers. With, between Witherbloom and Orcish Bowmasters. But I guess let's see what happens if we just thought sees they might yeah, they might bowmaster in response, which would be okay, yeah, cool they do. At least they're doing something in response. Maybe it's a brainstorm. But I guess if they're brainstorming in response, then 
they're being pretty mana inefficient. Interesting. What? Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm obviously happy with it because I don't have a Bowmasters, but I, 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 see, I see the logic there. Um, oh, hello. Real cards. Um, so it's either Force or Ransom now. Uh, I think, again, because I'm putting them under basically no pressure, I probably want to take the Ransom, but the Force definitely is a long-term problem. So I'm guessing it's Bowmaster on top of their deck. Wow. These have been some of the most interesting thought pieces I've played in a while. Um, yeah, I'll take the Ransom. And then I could play Mom, but I think it's playing so directly into their bowmasters that I don't think that I want to. Although I could, if I do cast mom and then they bowmaster mom, that lets me land sash and eat something and then it that'll live long term. So that might actually be worth it. Um, yeah, I think, I think my point is more that... Eh. No, I should keep. I, I guess I'm too low on cards. I actually need to keep it as a solitude. Solitude pitch is the actual answer. Mm hmm. Okay. I like that because. It lets me play the sash that 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 super cannot die to bowmasters. Which means they are going to force pitch their ponder. Cool. Works for me. Now they cast their Bowmasters for Clock, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. Okay. And now I think I'm comfortable throwing this mom into the Witherbloom command because that means now we have the Bowmasters the pay off for it living. Uh, yeah, I own this deck in paper. I have for a long time. I guess kind of. <laughs> I, I have played D&T in Paper Legacy for, oh, for like 12 years now. Um, this particular build of the deck, I basically own minus a couple of cards I'm borrowing from friends. You got it. They mill me for they mill my cauldra. Oh my god, that's the second time that's happened to me against Wither Bloom commands. That's so messed up. This might be spewing this Bowmasters here. I'm not sure. But I don't know. 
Uh, the basics I use are, um, I'll show you in a second. Ooh. Um, I use a particular Odyssey play or Odyssey swamp that I will show you once I fetch off of this prismatic vista. Um, and I use an Onslaught Planes. It's the Hut Planes from Onslaught, I think. I honestly forgot I had the Surveil Land in play. That's probably better, but I also don't hate having this much pressure in play either. So I can actually just get it out of my deck while I press 2 on my opponent's turn. All right. Finding the planes will be easy. The swamp will be harder. All right, so this is the planes that I play. Uh, this one here. And then my swamp is somewhere in here. It's hard to find a one of in an 80 card deck, as I can tell you from playing, having to fetch for them a lot. And then this is my swamp art. These are the same basics that I use in my cube. That's where I got them from. When I was playing Mono White, uh, I was playing a Zendikar Full Art Lands. Diluted Fruitcake, thank you so much for the follow. How's it going? Um, I do like Zendikar Full Arts a lot. Um, I have like 17 of them for my Mono White deck, but in this build, I use those. still want to draw lands, which is why I'm not fetching yet. Source Supply Shares is nice against any potential uh, Merc Tides coming over. This smells like a Sanctuary for the Ransom, if I had to guess. Could also be for Lorien Revealed, but it's for Ransom. Ransom makes sense just as being the cheaper card. I haven't resolved one of these in a while. Let's have some fun. Okay. Uh... Oh, right. I literally have Bowmasters. Yeah, duh. Um... I was kind of thinking that too. So if they if they take this pile, what's the worst that happens? They can bean, they can wasteland me, but they're probably wasteland in the Caracas, which unlocks the windmill that's still in our hand. Um. But yeah, the, none of this actually deals with our board, which I think is the important one, the important part when they're under this much pressure. So yeah, I like this. Let's see what they take. They take the bigger pile. I thought the pile they took went into like a revealed zone or something. I guess not. Okay. There's the wasteland. Hit my Caracas, I know you want to. Come on, it's right here. It's right here. Get it. No, what? It's so messed up. Oh, they just had another Witherbloom command? Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing to do about that, I guess. They mill Sword, Solitude, Bowmasters. And they get the Wasteland back. Ugh. So 
So their hand is Wasteland, Force, Bean. They still do, they still just have all the cards I gave them. Got it, got it. Flicker Wisp, you can get there. Please get my Caracas this time. No. If they were, yeah, they would have, they were going to get it the first time if they were ever going to get it. So, ugh, and push. Okay. All right. We got a little bit of a slog to get through now. Okay. That's good. Man, imagine if we had pre-war formal wear here, right? Still not fetching, because I really just want to draw lands at this point. That's another land, I'll take it. Wondering, they gotta draw Merc Tide eventually. I was honestly wondering if they were waiting until they drew a seventh land so they could cast Merc Tide with, uh, with hard cast force up. Um, I think they. I don't think they're ever supposed to mill us, really. But It certainly disincentivizes it more. Force pitch days. That's the third days we've seen. Yeah, it is. Okay. Which means that. Four days is usually about how many they have. I could try to go for a hard cast solitude here. The problem is if the solitude gets forced, then we basically are, we put ourselves in a position where the only out we have is another solitude or a swords when we've already had a bunch of them milled. So I'm sort of leaning towards pitch cast the solitude because that gives us the backup plan of hard casting the batter skull. That is what I'm going to go for. They have dress down. I mean that. I have a three two. Um. Okay, so one problem actually with hard casting batter skull is that would leave us dead to bowmasters. Can we afford to play around that? We've only seen one, and we don't know any of the three cards they have. No, Jer Jerem will be if I mean, the the Batter Skull coming into play after the Dress Down 
it would be a 4-4 four, four with Vigilance and Lifelink because that's timestamps. Um, even if it didn't, that's not the important part. It's having the Skull in play to have another source of life gain next turn. So if I'm if I play around, if I play around Bowmasters, I am in another position where I have to draw Swords, Wisp, or Solitude. No other draws will get there. That might just be lower lower odds than them not having Bowmasters in their hands. It'd be one, two, it's like six draws, 54 cards. Yeah, I think, I think I go for, I think I go for the batter skull cast. Feels risky, but I think we got to go for it. God, imagine if any creatures were blockable, but no, they all have flying. Wait, they had a four, okay. I'm confused why they didn't use that force on the solitude. Wait, please. No, okay. I was really hoping they were about to Bowmaster into their dress down still being in play. No, they just have another Merc Tide. Okay, got it. I will not bother making them cast it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Gaddic Teague, Battle of Bywater, Cabal Therapy, Lauren, rest in peace. Goodbye, some number of Skyclaves. Goodbye, all the Thalias. Goodbye, Gta. Goodbye, one Wisp. I think we'll do that. Chileth, no. I'm sorry, no. This is really not the kind of hand I want against them. This is better. If I'm going to cast Mom, it's going to be on turn one, so I'm keeping that. Um, I might just pitch the Solitude. It's a, it's a risky card to get rid of, um, but I think that this hand can't really... I just had this hand just has better things to do, I think. So Yeah, it, uh yeah, exclamation point card. Nukes a graveyard, makes a bunch of one ones. Very good way to break board stalls or get uh get a ton of Oh, what? Or to get a ton of, um, uh, just like break board stalls, get a bunch of blockers in play, create a huge, uh, huge board that your opponent can't deal with. Okay. Lorian revealed ex explains that. You got it.
Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to surveil here. I kind of like that, actually, against a wastelands. Wasteland into Tropical Island does not feel like very strong. I almost want to waste the trop first, but I think that's maybe giving them a little bit too much time with this beanstalk in play. But what are they going to do off the beanstalk? I guess not much. Yeah. Yeah, they wastelanded into Lorien. Yeah. I should hold up black. Oh well. I think they're passing the second main regardless, so. Sure. Okay. Get pro black. Oh, let's. Uh. Oh right. I already. Yeah. I already used my lane drop. Okay. Gonna be really annoying if they have cut now. Yeah, okay. I mean that obviously used a lot of resources, but I was really I was doing this on the assumption that it was gonna like absolutely destroy them and it definitely did not, so Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, sure. Okay. Can we draw another land, please? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> This Lauren is like definitely not resolving now, which is part of the part of the problem. I think I'm getting a third planes here, honestly. It's a little sketch, but I think it's right. Stern scolding? Are you kidding me? Okay. Bug beans is the worst vibes, I swear. I 
Can I get a land? No. That could be worse. Uh, yeah, okay. That was part of the risk, but I don't see... I, I don't see a way where we, like, win this game if I have to, like, spend, like, three cards to kill this Murktide. So I really want to try to get one of these battles to kill it first. Because I can afford to take a hit here. Okay. They really could not have developed a better a better hand against the plan that we ended up going with. It's really rough. Let's try again. At least they have a different white card to pitch, if nothing else. And they have another days. Okay. Yeah, you know what? It's getting late. I'm whatever. They they got it. It's only one more match. We'll get it done quick. Because if it takes longer, I'm just going to, I will just end, right? I'm tired. Today's been hell. I think I'm, <laughs> if it's going to take that long, I'm going to make it end fast one way or another. See, it's Tony. It's fine. It'll end fast. Nice no lander. Uh, I'll keep this. Put the wisp on bottom, I guess. Interesting. Uh, well, this is all mana except for this gamble, so I'm going to take the gamble. <clears throat> I would tell those to shut up, but I'm sleepy. Mm -hmm. There's probably just going to be a Galvanic Relay turn, I guess. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Relay for four. Burning Wish Relay for five. All right, what do we got? Petal, petal, opal, 
Spirit Guide Gamble. Okay, interesting. So you get to make a bunch of mana, you get to cast a gamble. What does the gamble get? Normally I would say gamble gets echo. It smells like an echo, but a bit weak to the bowmaster. Um, I didn't like getting Thalia here because he has, he has so much mana. And Lauren is going to be a better clock because of Bowmaster activations. All right, there's an echo. Plus, realistically, if if this game's going on at all it's because of echo so and if he casts echo what's in our hand doesn't matter and he's also dead next turn harnfell okay looking pretty dead looks like led led Burning Wish for Tendrils. It is true. If we have spirit, the line just doesn't work instead. Yep, there's tendrils. Okay. Well, we bring in like our entire sideboard, so that's fun. Um, yes to all of these. Yes to all of these. So those, these three cards are the ones that we're not bringing in. We cut at least the swords, probably even more than that. Um, let's see. We can probably cut a planes in this matchup. Um, Solitudes are definitely on the chopping block. Um, this kind of deck usually often does play Bergy. He literally did show us one, although I think it, it tends to end up more as a Harnfell than a creature for the most part. Um, I think I need Batter Skull in case of Empty the Warrens. So I just need to cut one more card. Probably it's the Scarab Swarm. It might make a big board, but if I'm at the point where Scarab Swarm is making a big board, then I'm probably already winning, so. I could keep in some Solitudes over Wisps, maybe, in case of Bergy nonsense. That's probably like the the most likely swap I would do. But I think I'll keep it as is. We at least have like some number of answers to Bergy. And there's a lot of good interaction in general, so. I do not want a hand like this though. This is much better.
I think I'm just bottoming the vial with this hand. Bottom vial, turn one thoughts, use turn two Thalia, wasteland sash after that. Yeah. Another hand of all mana. Um, I guess I take the Shatter Skull because it could answer Arthalia. The other option is take LED. It's one of these two. LED is certainly a scary card. It makes Echo top decks a problem. Um... But I don't love that he could literally just next turn smash Thalia. So I think I take that, yeah. Cool. I have like... <laughs> I think this is actually blank. <laughs> I don't have surgicals. I don't have mind break traps. And I boarded out all of my instant speed removal. I'm pretty sure that card is literally blank. Okay, Bowmasters. I have to cast my Bowmasters at sorcery speed. You got me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we don't have to worry about Echo anymore. And I'll get rid of the city so that their Ancient Tomb can only deal in damage. You got it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Two Chrome Moxon, you got it. Exile Spirit Guide, use a Lotus Petal and cast a Bergy. Okay. Um, I think I actually don't want to surveil because, yeah, because I need to, um, that sash activation is actually very important. Never mind. It's no longer important. Uh, let's see what attacking does. It worked out. I would. This was what I was originally going to do, and then I drew the Caracas and short short circuited a little bit. Um, I'm going to take that out of their yard, deal them an extra damage. And he is three, four, five, six, seven, dead next turn.
I don't know if it is worse. I think that that the I think it is probably better for us that the Bergie is just gone as opposed to ooh. Interesting. Um No echoes, but it's not like that's the only thing that his deck does. I think therapy plus wasteland is probably a good enough follow up from this. Uh, the clock does not change, that is true. Okay. This is starting to look like a start that our deck can't beat anyway. So I'm not too upset about it. Uh, and the hits off of that actually weren't that great either. It's all mana. It's all mana and another Bergy. Um, so I guess I guess the problem is that that Bergy is probably going to going to become a Harnfell. Um, if I waste the city, you can go pedal pedal. Monolith can still write a flame, cast the Harnfell. Um, yeah, what could be therapy? I feel like their therapy is honestly probably just another land. It could be a Burning Wish, maybe? That would probably be, like, the most impactful card to get out of their hands. I don't like Karak like Caracas on the Bergy because like they're still gonna make more than enough mana even if we bounce it. Yeah, I think I like trying to get a burning wish out of that out of his hands. It's an echo. Okay. Echo makes sense. Not getting cast anytime soon. Um, although I guess actually he can cast it off of the Lotus Petals, so. I wonder if maybe that was the name. There's a possibility that Burning Wish would have had actually a really good use on this turn if he, if he had it. Echo might have been the name there, actually. Because now he gets to... Oh, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Yeah, because now he can't... Ec or no, because he still has to write a flame. So he can write a flame... Where'd that Ancient Tomb come up? I think I missed that the Ancient Tomb was off that. Okay, so now he gets to Echo... And it's kind of hard to lose after with a full hand with Harnfell and Burger in your hand, so. We are dead. So maybe we're thinking about whether the Echo was the right card to name off the therapy, or if we should have just not kept that hand. But because you know, as this hand showed, they don't need the graveyard. But obviously, that hand from them also would have been 
extremely hard to beat if they got to cast that Echo on turn one. So, who knows? Either way, that is going to be the end of the stream. Well, anyway, we are going to call it there. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out for as long as you did, uh, as always. Um, oh, right, I can switch over to this little screen right here. Hi, hello. Um, while I go see if there's anybody to raid... Um, I mean, I I have played Surgical a lot. I was playing Surgical before I played Ley Lines. I I think you I I don't think that Surgical is really defensible against Risk Aminator basically because ha cards in your ha cards that in your hands that you have to cast just don't work against Grief. So he, if you're if you're playing Graveyard Hate, it, I think it basically has to be Ley Line. Um. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes, I, I, I am streaming on Twitch. I also have a Twitter and Patreon and YouTube. You can go check me out on all those. If you missed any of this stream, the VOD will be up on YouTube overnight, basically. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter if you if you care about the things that I say. And if you don't care about the things I say, that's okay too. Doesn't look like anybody else is playing Legacy, so I think we're just going to have to call it for the night. Anyway, thank you all again for stopping by. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday at 9. I always stream sun Thursdays and Sundays, 9 p.m. Eastern. Basically, but not always playing DNT. Anyway, thank you all, and I will catch you next time.